Hey viewers, guys, you know, welcome back to my channel, which was the guys are doing well. If you're joining us for the first time, do also subscribe to this channel, hit on the notification bell beside it to get notified if someone upload a new video. Today, I'll be doing a requested video by Tosi and Raymond. You asked me to make a glycolic face cream. But before I go to the work session, I would like to spell out some certain things that it's of importance that it's addressed. Um, when you're working with us, it is important that you ask yourself some certain questions before you go ahead to draw out your recipe. Okay, the first question you want to ask yourself is who wants to use this? Um, who are you making the base cream for? What purpose do you want this base cream to serve? What skin type wants to use it? And what strength of acid do you want to incorporate? When you answer these questions, then you can further go ahead to choose your emulsifiers and co emulsifiers readily. In the work session, I'll be telling you the reason why most. Um, acid base cream will fail the reason why it will change viscosity even color or you have your base cream sweaty at times when you finish making it when you leave it for some days i'll be sharing with you guys the reason why that happens at the workstation because i don't intend to make this introduction too long but it's important that i spell out some certain things when you're using an acid base cream it's also important that you use your sunscreen you need to wear your sunscreen during the day now, I would also advise you that you use the, um, this acid-based creams at night, depending on the strength that you actually incorporate it. But if you want to use it day and night, then you want to make sure that you're not going on that soon at all. And if you will do, you need to apply your SPF every two hours. Now, for the sake of this video, I didn't incorporate any kind of... Um, SPF um, active because I'm not allowed to do that on YouTube. But if you know your way around, if you know some of all this active um, SPF or sunscreen active that you can add to your formula, then you can recreate this template that I'll be leaving under, this under the description box. Okay. Um, what else am I not spelling out right here? And I will also advise that you are not making a base cream that contains this kind of acid for an aged skin. Because the truth be told, um, age skin, when you get older, your cell rejuvenation or regeneration takes a slower process. So you would not advise an aged skin person to start using or peeling or using acids on their skin. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying acids are prohibited. You can use them in smaller percentage and not in a high concentration okay um let's go to the workstation and i will you know do the i'll do more of lecturing and teaching while i make the base cream enjoy this video and make sure you watch it to the end to get all the information that you need for this formula see you at the workstation welcome to my workstation if you've been following me over time you know to make your base cream you need basically three stages which is the hot water phase the oil phase and the cool down phase okay now like i said in the introduction before you can make an acid base cream you need to ask yourself what strength of acid that you're using and what percentage do you want to incorporate in your formula when you've decided when you've answered this question then you can go ahead to choose your emulsifier so for this recipe i'm using ceteri alcohol and polysorbate 60 which is popularly known as e-wax nf so if you if you're looking to make this um, base cream, you might want to get a most fine wax NF because that's what I used for this formula. And I also went ahead to um, incorporate my settle alcohol, which is um, goes in the oil phase. Now for the water phase, I, I incorporated a polymer, which it's not very common. I used a sepimaxine, and the reason why I chose sepimaxine against xanthan gum. Because most of you will use xanthan gum and if you're working with acid, xanthan gum can actually, you know, mess you up because it cannot withstand some level of strength of alcohol, um, or alcohol and acids, okay? So if you're looking to work with alcohol-based um, ingredients or um, acid-based ingredients, then you want to look at um, using an, a polymer that will complement your formula okay so i'm using sepimaxine for this you can also alternate sepimaxine for sepinov emt10 which i'm not very sure it's commonly used by people but you can easily get sepimaxine in um, your local stores okay 
and that's for the water um water phase so um like i said the reason why your your creams or lotion could go sweaty or um you have either consistency and viscosity change and even your color altered it's when you don't do the right thing when you don't choose the right emulsifier when you don't choose the right co-emulsifier don't also forget that in this formula i'm adding my edta which is my chelator that would help to um prevent any kind of um metallic anions or that we that could be present in our hydrosol because i use basically hydrosol for this okay now of the basic actives that i use in making this formula is the kojic acid i used kojic acid i used um retinol and i used glycolic acid which is the major reason why we're doing this video now um liposome which is um vitamin a or retinol can actually irritate the skin so if you know your skin cannot take um um, vitamin A, they might want to exclude it and just stay with other actives that can work well with glycolic. But these are the three major ingredients that I'll be using for this formula. And I also incorporated my sodium metabol sulfate in this formula. Okay, that will prevent oxidation from happening. Now that I've done, um, the, I've brought the two fish together um, to the right temperature, what I'm adding right now is my polymer which is the sepi magazine i've dissolved it with my glycerin i'll be leaving the, the the recipe under the description box and when you add your polymer to your water phase you want to mix you want to have an homogeneous a homogeneous mix <laughs> forgive me i almost put my tongue there so you have to whip it you know give it a um, um give it a share blend to make sure it's incorporated properly then you will go ahead and mix the oil phase with the water phase now so many people get it wrong when they're trying to make their cream or their lotion they stick blend some people stick blend their cream until they get a frozen consistency some people blend until they even break like i, I don't know how to put it the right way for you to do is blend your cream for about three two minutes in fact two minutes it's too high depending on the quantity you're making actually once you get that um um foggy or how do i put it um an opaque consistency you stop blending and you start incorporating um with your spatula and what you want to do is to check you know keep it and check once the it's forming because as it cools down it emulsifies then you keep checking and using your stick blender to incorporate it to avoid you know separation but if you're doing a large batch your stick blender might be needed at some point to just blend again and you leave it so now this is the cool down phase where we have our kojic acid we have our um um, di pentanone we have our preservative and every other uh, like essential oils you can add to this um, face if you so wish so what i'm doing right now is just to incorporate them little by little and making sure that i incorporate them nicely and if you look into that beaker you can see that the cream has formed and it's super super thick like it's the consistency is just super good so what i'm doing right now is to take the ph level of this cream because we've used acids and um actives that are acid um like say acid um environment friendly so we have to keep this uh, lotion or this cream at an acid um ph level and this stood at 4.08 which is super super good so what we want to do is now turn our base cream into our container but please if you have a dispensable container it's advised because if you if you if you package your cream in containers like this and you keep dipping your hands into it to rub on your skin remember that each time that you open your cream you open it to oxidation and you introduce bacteria with your fingers into the cream so dispensable containers are pretty uh, much advised to be used 
I think that should be all about this video. I, 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 I hope I covered all that I'm supposed to say. If I didn't cover it, then I'll be leaving some kind of short notes um, under my description. So if you enjoyed this video, kindly share, like my video, subscribe if you're yet to do so. Talk about this channel to other people and let's grow together. Until I come your way again, I remain your favorite girl, Serena. Keep that glow popping. I love you guys.